So I meant to do this intro video before I started driving today, but apparently I forgot. <laughs> and so I'm driving now. Um, it's 1.44. It's a Friday. But we're not doing a Disney dinner tonight because we are going to something that um, downtown Mobile puts on called Art Walk. I can't fully tell you what it is because I've only been once and it was this one last year. Um, but, oh, sorry. I, the church that I go to puts on like a fall festival at the October Art Walk. So that's why we're going. Um, sorry, people are parked on the road and I and standing in the middle of the road, but there's traffic coming on the other side. But that's not a flattering angle. But anyways, um, can I set you guys here? Let's see if this works. Eh. No. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I need a car set up. But anyways, so we're going to that um, tonight. So we're not going to be making dinner tonight. We'll eat there. And we'll do crafts there and I'll film there and record there and let you guys see what all is happening there. It's better. I still can't prop it up here. Um, but so we're Whoa. running some a few errands that we were supposed to be sorry Eliza. <laughs> we're running a few errands that we were supposed to run yesterday. But um lots of stuff happened with mom and then cars and just a bunch of ugh, stuff. So we're going today. We're go I have a wedding that I'm going to tomorrow and I have to find some shoes for it. Eliza's not going but she also has to have shoes. I'll see about showing you guys kids closet and what it looks like on the inside and how it's set up. I will also see about showing you some of the wedding. It's my friend Amber and I'm super excited for her. And Eliza's gonna go hang out at my sister's house. So she's gonna get to go play with all of her cousins and have fun with all of them. So I'm super excited for her. She loves going over there and hanging out. Uh, we went over there yesterday for a little bit. Um, went with dad to his fishing meeting. He has like begged me to go. He's like asked me to go like each month and I'm like, I don't really wanna go because it's at a restaurant. And I was like, I don't really want to try to chase Eliza down for, like, that's what, that's something that people without children don't think about. Like, my mom asked me to go with her somewhere yesterday, or she asked me if I wanted to go, and I was like, yeah, I'd like to go, but that, ha the house that she was going to wasn't childproof. And for me, it's a whole lot, like, I don't get to just sit down and talk to people. I'm going to be chasing her. Why are you not driving, sir? Excuse you. I understand you have a handicap tag, but you can drive. If you can't drive, you need to get out of your truck. This is why I said before that you guys wouldn't ride with me while I was driving, because I have a little bit of um, frustration while driving, but it's fine. If you can't drive, get out of the freaking vehicle. <sighs> Should not have been stopped by this. So she, mom asked me if I wanted to go over there and I was like, I don't want to have to run after her the whole time trying to keep her from breaking things and just keep her safe and all of that. And so I was like, yeah, not really. Like, and I didn't know how long she was going to be. And so dad asked me if you know, I wanted to go to the fishing meeting with him. And he's asked me before and I've been like, yeah, not really because I don't want to have to run after Eliza the whole time. Um, but she tried, I tried, like, so I'll get her to sit in a seat and everything, and she's usually okay, but toddlers only last so long just sitting there. Um, but we went yesterday, we went, so some of the nephews go as well, and, ouch, I had fart really badly. My phone, like, just slammed my, that was illegal, sir, you made me think I could go. Um... Some of my nephews went, so she, they, she was hanging out with them some, and she colored most of the meeting, and it, it went really well. We got free food. 
um, quote free food, dad paid for it, but it was really yummy. Um, they took forever to get the food out, but it was still really good. Um, so that's not just something people without kids don't think about. And if you have friends that have kids, think about those things for them. Like, just before you are like, yeah, like still invite people places, but think about the fact that they're going to be running after the kids. Like I had, a, when we were living in Hattiesburg, I had a few friends invite us over to their house. And I was like, yeah, I don't really want to chase after Eliza tonight. And thankfully I have some really good friends and they're like, girl, don't worry about it. We'll be there. Like we'll be helping you like get her and like everything. And so like that things like that go really well. But there's just something childless people don't think about is the state of their house. Ugh. And uh, how children work like that's one of my future goals for my friends is to always have like more of a childproof house like not completely but more of a childproof house and to also always have toys for their kids like I want to have boxes of toys for different age ranges and I can pull those out whenever my friends come over with their kids and so they can have those and play with those whether they're at like if they're at my house because I I'm not dissing any of my friends it's fine like I understand that's not a normal thing they're doing road work on the interstate so the traffic is backed up like crazy which I forgot about or I would have gone a different direction but anyways um like I'm not dogging any of your friends like it's cool like I get that's not a normal thing and it's not something you think about when you don't have children. I never thought about it before. Um, and I have seven, I had seven nephews when Eliza was born and a niece that was seven months older. And so like, they're <laughs> like, I've had tons of child responsibilities, but just never the full responsibility. And I never just thought about that. But it's something that I want to think about now for my friends who have kids while I may not have a toddler or a baby. Like, I want to be able to have things that their kids can do so they feel like they can come over and hang out as well because their kids are something to do and something to play with. And they don't feel like they're going to have to chase after their kid the whole time. So, I had this video in with sound but decided that it was too long of a video if we listened to the sound and so I just wanted to add my own voice recording into it so that you guys could see it quicker and hear. So this is Kids Closet. Um, the beginning was just the girls side and some cute little aprons. That was a picture of uh, Liza and I. This is more of Kids Closet. I went on a Friday, and apparently Friday is one of the last days, so there wasn't as much stuff as there typically is if you go earlier in the week, but this was on a Friday. I found quite a few things, which I have a video later on showing you guys the uh, haul that I got from Kids Closet. So this is just more girls' clothes. On the other side is all the boys' clothes. Um, this is more of the clothes, I, this is like a cute little smocked area, and I was showing you guys this dress that I wanted to get, but somebody had apparently already gotten it, so I couldn't get it. <laughs> it was there when I got there earlier, but not later. Um, this is a whole section they have of, like, specialty items, so there's Beaufort Bonnet Company, uh, I don't even remember what all else, but they have, clearly, as you can see, very good deals on all that stuff. There's bows that somebody has made and listen, Doug items, but that's really all of Kids Closet. I always forget to do these when we get home, so I'm going to go ahead and do it now. I'm going to show you what all we got from Kids Closet. Sorry about this awkward angle, but I got Eliza a pair of little black boots. They're so cute. I was looking for boots. That's one of the things I really wanted to get her was boots. She picked out this Mickey 
on mini storybook collection that she really wanted. It was $4. Oh, that's what I can do. I can show you guys how you guys price. This was $5. Um, let's see. I got this color burning game that I've been wanting. It was $6. And it says new on there, so yeah, like it that hasn't even been opened. That's still sealed, so I'm excited. Um I got her these brown bits. They were six dollars. They're super cute. These were the only ones we didn't try on, so I'm nervous about these. But it's fine. I got her these little like fake golden goose type shoes and they're so cute. I'm like I'm super, I'm super excited about these. They even had like that like golden goose um, tag looking thing. What? Oh, did you get it stuck on your hand? Help. There you go. Yellow. Orange. But they're so cute. They got that like golden goose glitter too. Look, there you go. Say help please. Help. Thank you. They were only $5. Like, obviously they're fake, but like, they're so, I'm not spending like 200 some odd dollars on real ones for a toddler who's not gonna wear them, but in six months, maybe. Look, I got a Mickey and Minnie sweater. I think they sell this at like Target, but I'm not paying Target prices when this was $2. Do you see that? $2. I'm excited about, she loves Minnie though. And then I got her, this cute little like sweater cardigan thing from Old Navy. It's four dollars. It's maroon. It's uh like a velvety type material. I don't know. Help. Say help. Help. Um you want them out? It says it is polyester, but it's like that's so super soft, like knit. And that's all I got. So total I spent $25.50 plus sales tax, so $28.05. Which I'm super excited. I'm super excited because I got her three pairs of shoes. Do you still need help? And we stopped and got Taco Bell. And we're at our next location, which is this new store. Um called pop shelf it's supposed to be like i think it was five below but for like adults and crafty things and i'm super excited i love crafts and i love like home goods and stuff like that you don't want any more taco you're all done can i see you eat one more bite can i see you eat one more bite of taco or no cars yes look at me one more bite no? Oh, okay. For somebody who said no, that was a big bite. You missed the top half. You didn't get the top shelf. Oh, you're just gonna pull it off? Oh, okay. <laughs> but, we stopped and got Taco Bell, and so she's eating, and I already ate my chalupas. Got a bottle of last freeze. But anyways, I'll show you guys the inside of the store. I'm super excited for it. I hope it doesn't let me down. But we'll see. Uh, I think the things tonight starts at six. I think that's what I said earlier, but I don't remember. And I still wanted to go home and change. We're going to change into matching outfits, but no. we may not. We may just go. It depends on how our time does tonight. I am wearing makeup again today. But I need to fix my hair. Use your words, baby. What do you need? Do you want them put together? You want the book? You have the book. I need the rest of your toys, please. Baby. Mm. 
you see the phone? No. No? Okay. But no. Oh, now you want to show me? Right, let's count the five. And we, and we have this so that you can have enough room for the book. Two, three. Okay, I'll give all the stuff back to you. <laughs> A big heavy book. Heavy. heavy. Yeah. Another bite. She's doing really good at eating this taco, and I'm proud of her. Sometimes, I, lots of times, I get her food, and she's like, "No thanks, I don't want to eat any of it." But she's, I think she's growing some, which is kind of lame for the clothes that I just bought, but and the shoes that I just bought. But, anyways. I think she's growing some because she's been eating a lot more. We went to Moe's Southwest Grill Wednesday, I guess. It was Wednesday. Yeah, it was Wednesday. Ooh, so I didn't do that. It must have been Tuesday. Huh. Yeah. So it's Wednesday, we went to Moe's Southwest Grill. I don't know if you guys know what that is. But it's. Um, and we made her this bowl. And she ate a good portion of it on Wednesday and then we also had it Thursday for lunch and she ate the rest of it and was like more more please I was like I don't have any more for you baby I'm sorry I don't like my finger being in that but whatever <laughs> I don't want to hold it with the other hand and And then yesterday we went to Moe's Barbecue and she had shrimp and green beans and some chips and she ate, she ate a little bit of her shrimp. She didn't eat much of the shrimp and then she ate all of the green beans. She was, she was like <laughs> taking hands full. Hey baby. Can you say hi? Yeah. Say hi. Yeah. Oh, hold on. It hurt my finger again. Yeah. See? Cars? <laughs> Who's that on your book? <laughs> Who's that down there? <laughs> Is that funny? Who's wearing the hat? Goofy. <laughs> Just like at Kids Closet, I decided that the Pop Shelf video was way, way, way too long, so I decided to speed it up to double speed so that you guys could watch the double speed and then I could add my own voiceover during this part. So they had beach stuff there and Christmas stuff on the other side, which I thought was really funny. Those cute peanut butter and jelly uh, pillows that I'm pointing out. They had cute little um, scrunchies, just a bunch of really cute stuff. Some of it was a good deal, some of it was not. Like they had makeup stuff here and I decided I actually was going to get a product from over there. I've already gone through the store at this point, but decided to do a vi video after I went through the store so that I could see everything and just show you guys things that are needed. They had cleaning supply, beauty stuff, hangers, um, sorry for all this craziness. I was with Eliza and just was trying to get through it quickly. <laughs> this was cool. Um, this thing on the bottom shelf that I'm going to show you, there. You put your milk in one container and your cereal in the other, so you can have, like, a cereal-to-go container. Um, and then they had this little, like, grocery store food area, which had lots of different items that I... Some of them I haven't seen before, and then some of them were obviously, like, regular items. They had lots of dairy-free things, though, and I was really impressed. They had some items that I had never seen before, but now I've seen everywhere, so I guess they were a newer item. They had like dairy-free Reese's Pieces that I thought were really cool and they're actually really good. We've had them since. I also have a haul of what we got from here later on. This is like a whole home section. They had party supplies. Their home section is really cool. This area I had not been in before and so we were going through it together which is why this section takes a little bit longer. But that's why I wanted to record, speed it up and just do a voiceover. I. But it's like school supply stuff and oh, I'm sorry for how crazy that camera is. 
Um, that's one of my favorite scents. It's like the Coronado Cherry Car Scent. I really love it. There are obviously very big mixed opinions. There's some more like party gift wrap stuff. They had tie-dye socks on that little uh, end cap. They had lots of electronic -y devices. Those were earbud containers, which I thought were the cutest. Uh, different phone mounts. I was looking for one to get for the car so that I could have a phone mount for the car. But they were the only ones that I found. You had to put the uh, sticker thing on the back of your phone. And I wasn't for that. Like, I don't want that. So I'm just going to get a different car mount. Uh, that's cute little cases and stuff. I think I should. That, yeah, that's the phone mount. But that's where you had to put the magnet on the back of your phone. And I wasn't for that. They have little fake air tags over there, fake um, Fitbits, and all that fun stuff. Like again, some of the stuff was a good deal, some of it was not. Do, 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 do. This is back to the home section. I thought there was lot. They had lots of stuff that was really, really cute. That I would definitely go and get stuff for my home there. Um, this silverware that I'm about to show you is the cutest. I love it. It's the all black, but I just love how it looks. I really was tempted to get some, but decided against it since, you know, finances are really, really tight, but that's it anyways. The neat door, like makeup organizer that I may go get now that I'm in Atlanta. Oops. You don't technically know about Atlanta yet. Oops. <laughs> Oh well, um, I haven't posted that video, but anyways, that's it. So friends, this is, uh, the art walk. There's tons of cars and everything. There's tons of traffic. I'm tired of it already. <laughs> um, this is, uh, the church area. The church is right there, platform 85, but they're doing like a little carnival. They have tons of different carnival games back there. And I want to show you this that one of my friends drew. Look, they drew this coloring sheet for the kids. It shows like a church and it's got different carnival games and kids. And I'm so proud of her. She is super talented. I'll have to link her, our tag her Instagram and link her Instagram here because she has tons of different like art pieces that she does. She does tons of Disney ones. But then she also does like super awesome things like this. I'll have to see about showing you. This is the other half of the carnival. I have just different carnival games fishing for ducks, which Eliza is obsessed with because it's water. Some like bottle ring toss, some different cup throws, and stuff like that. Sometimes the fun stuff. So I look a little rough right now, and you may hear dad snoring because he's asleep on the couch. It's 11.47, but I wanted to show you guys the haul that I got from the Pop Shelf place. Um, it's a little booster. I got these. They're called Copper's Chocolate Iced Coffee Bites. Dark chocolate. I like which colors or flavors. Um, it says on the back of Iced coffee flavored liquid center cordials are sure to leave you bursting with energy. But I'm super excited to try it. I love iced coffee. I love coffee in general. Mm. <laughs> I got these little snacking pickles. I don't know why. They don't have to be refrigerated yet, which is what kind of worries me. But I got them. It doesn't have the ingredients on them, which is weird. Oh, there it is. But I got the sour pickle spears. There were a few different flavors of them. But I don't like spicy and I don't like sweet. There was something else that I... Oh, there's a garlic one that I thought about trying, but I decided to get those. Um, I got razors. I got organic chewy granola bars for Eliza because they say may contain dairy or may contain milk ingredients. 
So we're going to test them and try them. These charcoal infused floss picks. I don't have one. I got an eyebrow powder highlighter. I got this face cleansing gel. I really like this brand. If you haven't tried this brand, they'll have Beauty and Planet. I really like their products. This one is Coconut Water in Mimosa Flower. I got a popcorn ball. I actually got two. Cinnamon Graham Crackers. These things are addicting. These Lint, Lindor, I don't even know what Stracciatella, Stracciatella, like, I don't even know how to say it. They're so good. Oh. I went through a bag of those in like 20 minutes the other day. No, that's exaggerating. It was like a few days, but still. I got this makeup brush. It's a, it's a powder brush. Because I have a powder foundation that I don't really use because I don't have a brush for it. So I went ahead and got that. I got this coloring book for Eliza. Yep, oh, sorry. And I got these markers. There's the last thing, and there's the popcorn ball. Oh, and I got dairy-free, um, wannabe cups, peanut butter, Reese's cups. But anyways, that's it. That's my haul. All right, friends. Hey, today is Saturday. It's wedding day. It is already 2.50. I'm headed to my sister's house to drop Eliza off. Thankfully, she doesn't live that far because I was supposed to leave like 10 minutes ago. But, I mean, the wedding starts at 3.30. I just wanted to get there early because, A, I don't get anywhere early. So, I knew if I planned for this time, then I would go, I would already be, I would lose some time anyway. So, it's 2.50. I'm headed to my sister's house. Eliza's in the back seat right now, but she's going to be dropped off in just a second. I have everything fully ready, I believe. I'm dressed. I'm ready. I left lipstick. problem with this dress is it's a little short because I'm five seven five eight and I the, I'm wearing heels right now so I'm even taller right now but um, the dress is a little short it's longer than like my shorts are but it's still like I don't know I feel like I try to be very modest and everything and this isn't as modest as I would usually wear oh happy birthday little kid um, but I really like it and it's super cute. So we're, and everybody, like I sent it out to a bunch of my friends and was like, which dress do you like? Including two of the bridesmaids. And one of, uh, one of the bridesmaids is another bridesmaid's sister. And she was also like, yes, that one. So they all chose this dress. And so they all liked it. So like, it wasn't too, it's like, it's not too inappropriate. It's just shorter than I would like it to be. Um, but it's still super cute. And I like this color but anyways that's really it for right now 
Alright friends, I have left the wedding. It's 6.30. I got there a little bit late, but I got there before um, like the actual wedding started, so it was cool. Oh, the sky's so pretty right now. I'm gonna turn you guys around after I get around. Oh, that's curved. Let me see if this will work. But like, it's so pretty. It's so gorgeous. We love sunsets. It's one of my favorite things, actually, sunsets. Um, especially sunsets over the water. Ugh, I love the water. Like, I love oceans and pools and lakes and just all sorts of water. And I love uh, sunsets. My hair's looking a little rough. It's fine, it's fine. I don't know what else to say right now. Um, but yeah, I left the wedding. It's 6.30 now. I got there before, like I got there as people started, as like the bride's parents started walking down the aisle, the groom's parents started walking down the aisle. So I s got there during the processional, but the way the wedding was set up, they were able to get me, like I was able to get in before like the bridesmaids started walking down and the bride started walking down. So it wasn't like a big deal. I was literally only like a minute late. Um, but I am leaving now. I got to catch up with some good friends. I'm excited. Um, had fun. They were doing a fake send off while I was like when I was in the process of leaving. But that's really it. It's 6:30. My toddler is at my sister's house. Like I but got to meet, I got to hang out with some great friends and everything, but all of my friends are married, are engaged. So I was um, a fifth wheel, sixth, seventh wheel, eighth wheel, I don't even know. I was definitely a fifth wheel, like. But I mean, I still had fun. I'm still friend, like I'm friends with every, each of the couples as well. So it wasn't like a big deal. I just got to the point, I just got where I was like, ah. But anyways, oh my goodness, he's so pretty, look. It's just so pretty. Um, I got multiple compliments, compliments on my outfit. I, my sister texted me and said, no rush, like, she's good. But I'm still headed over there because I'm, goodness look look do you see it i hope you see it it's so gorgeous go mobile that's one thing mobile's got going for it is it's got pretty sunsets and it's got water the water's not super pretty but it's got water church oh my goodness guys it just keeps getting prettier look at that Alright friends, it's Sunday. It's 2.30 already. We've gone to church. We went and picked up the Costco card from Dad while he's at work right now. We got a Starbucks. Oh, let me pull it out. Ah! This, this lid is not working for me today. I got a venti vanilla cream cold brew. It's really yummy. I've already drank most of it. Because I keep forgetting to pick up my creamer, and so I'm out of creamer at the house. And then I also went next door to Starbucks and got Firehouse for Eliza and I. Whee! You okay? Yeah. Need help? There you go. Brush them off. Let me see. Say bye bye. Liza, can you say bye bye? Bye bye. Bye bye.